Project is done. I'm dressed as Trevor Blamont from the Castlevania Netflix series. Season 3 just dropped like two days ago. Uh, this is a bonus run. Um, Alucard, per, uh, Alucard percent. I did this last year at mid winter speed sprinter. And I'm happy to be doing that again for you this year. So uh, considering I'm here on the couch by myself, I will do the uh, lovely backstory myself. <coughs> During 15th century Europe, there lived a person named Dracula. He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. He began taking over the continent of Europe, changing the countries from good to bad, just like this translation. The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. I mean, it must have been like the plague or something. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's vile forces. The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil. Scroll, 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 scroll. The townspeople became afraid of the Belmont's superhuman power and asked them to leave the country with torches and pitchforks and stuff. Fortunately, the people found a mighty Belmont called Trevor. He was drinking in a bar. Because that's what they did, vampire hunters. Now the fate of Europe lies with Trevor, and the curse of Dracula has begun. This is going to be Alucard percent. We are going to pick up Alucard, the one who has the daddy issues. He is the son of Dracula and uh, Lisa Tepish, if you are to go with the Symphony of the Night timeline. So we're going to grab... The son of Dracula beat Dracula with his son's help. Now, if you are there from my stream or if you have not seen me before, please drop as many blessed RNGs in the chat as you can as I give my customary RNGs prayer. RNGs is full of random, hallowed be thy name. Thy random come, thy will be done on Twitch as it is at Midwinter Speed Sprinter. Give us this day our daily RNG and forgive us our bad timing as we forget the bad timing and bad RNG against us. And lead us not into failure, but into a PB or at least a decent run. Amen. All right. Timer will start as soon as the first screen shows up when I start to be able to move Trevor Belmont. So as soon as it fades to black, you can put her over after this. So, prayer time. Dun, dun, dun. Four. Time. All right, there we go. Start her out. Uh, this is Castlevania Three. This is Trevor Belmont, the ancestor of Simon Belmont, and also Richter, who is an idiot. Both of them are in Smash Brothers, obviously. You might know them. Um, so there are not a lot of quote-unquote tricks until I get Alucard. It's just mostly a lot of really good playing and knowing the mechanics of the game. Um, so, you know, the real boss, though, in most Castlevania games, if you know it, is Stair Boss. So please, Stair Boss, behave on the screen. I do not want to fall through any stairs. All right, get a bat boost here, and then we will... Ah, I made it! Hooray! I have not played this game in a month, and I made that. Pixel perfect jump. Yay! <clears throat> All right, and then we got this bone guy. We're going to do a thing. All right. Whip. All right. In a second, we will probably have a heart drop from an enemy, and I will start a countdown. We start at DEFCON 5. When we're at DEFCON 1, that means that we will have a sub-weapon drop from an enemy. Um, that means that every time, every uh, five drops from an enemy is a sub-weapon, regardless if you whip them or use your uh, sub-weapon. And since it's a speed run, you want a specific sub-weapon. For now, I want the holy water. If I have anything other than the holy water for a while, I will be very angry. All right, take a boost there. That was, an a that was a bonus boost, not one that was necessary, but had to take it. All right. What I just did there was I whipped at the end for, um, I whipped at the end of that jump to cancel the crouch animation that happens. Well, that's great. I had a bad boost, it's fine. I recovered. Uh, but there's a crouch animation if you jump from too high, if you whip at the right time, you can cancel that. All right, try and do a boost here, boost up here, and then we got, yep. 
All right, one more boost, and then we got a... Okay, we didn't take a boost there. We jumped over. Jumped over. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Ha, ha. Fast kill. That was our buddy, Stabby McStabface. He's a pain in the butt. You can do a donation between the levels. Yeah, of course. Um, we have $5 from Zojalix, who says, gotta get my donation in. Um, we've also got $46 from Synac, who says, as promised, here's $46, $1 for each bonk. Thank you, Synac. Synac. Thank you, Zojalix. Yep, thanks to both of you guys, and now I'm gonna sing. Because this is a banger tune. Here we are in this here mad forest of owls. This repeat ghost is gonna eat some fire. He has put us in DEFCON 3. That means we are fucking safe until we get the owls. This guy jumps over us. Now we whip his buddy. We still are at DEFCON 3. We got these owls. They are really mean. They want to club my eyes out. But I have the holy water. So I keep going forward. We're at DEFCON 2 now. Come on, let's go. Don't die, you stupid Belmont. Holy crap, that was real close. I really don't want to die. All right, I better focus. Ah, oh, crap. All right, um, I've only got one damage boost that I can take on this last stage, so I'm probably going to get safety meat. Uh, there is wall meat. It tastes terrible, um, but, you know, that's what you do. But uh, I tried damage boosting as much as I could with those owls. Um, I am at DEFCON 2, I believe, right now. All right, pull up. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. He's dead. All right. Holy water this guy. All right, we can do the damage boost here. Please don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. This is terrible. All right. I live. All right. Okay. That is Mad Forest done. Now, this is the first real um, spot where you switch paths. Uh, you saw stairs before. That would have led up to the clock tower, which has Grant. That is an entirely optional level. I am going down, which leads to Alucard. Up leads to Cypha. Okay. Oh! I hate the frogs. I hate the frogs. I hate the... Okay, there's a weapon drop. That was a knife. But it landed in the swamp. We're good. Really far behind, but I'm not really trying to PB right now. Marathon safe strats, we're gonna go into the first Mudman room. They look like Grimers. All right. Alright. So basically what I'm doing is trying to manipulate the enemies and they're mostly RNG so I'm just trying to whip or throw my holy water at the right time to, you know, not be bad. <clears throat> I am really low on hearts suddenly. Well, that's great. Okay, I'm safe. I was able to get the double. That's great. Awesome. All right, bat time. One, two, three, and that's another level down. All right, so the reason why I picked Alucard for my uh, category is because Alucard is one of two characters that has the ability to do what Simon Belmont can do in Castlevania 1, which is clip through ceilings. But there's a little bit of setup with that that involves his special trick. He gets to turn into a bat and not bat. Because vampire. Okay. Um, I should be safe to take the top path. 
if I do not have three item drops from these slimes on the next screen. Uh, top path is a way where you damage boost through some spikes, leaving you with one hit before Alucard. But it is about five or six seconds faster. Which is always good. But if you take any hits or have a possibility of a weapon drop before you get there, it's not a good thing to do. Awesome, that screen's good. All right, I'm gonna switch my fing uh, my position to have uh, index and middle finger doing the A and B buttons because I'm gonna have to do some really fast whipping here. Like that. Uh, I basically had to press A and B at the same time to make that. So that was a near frame perfect trick. And here we go. We're on the last little bit until we get to Alucard. We got creepy music. We got fire dudes that we're skipping because he's not anywhere near us. Jumping over some spikes. We got the spike. Did a bad whip cancel there. We saw the animation that time. All right, we're going to throw holy water. We have four holy water hearts left, so we're not going to use any more. Um, if I had any access, I could just throw them off of here and I'd be safe to do that because they disappear at the bottom. All right. This guy won't give us any trouble. Now it's time to see if Alucard will behave himself. Um, there is a fast kill and there's a slow kill. And we might have the slow kill. We'll see how the Holy Water RNG does. We got a two cycle. That was a fast kill on Alucard. Basically, you have to get two whip hits worth of damage on him before he turns into bats. And then uh, do two holy waters and whip. And hopefully that will be enough damage to take him out before he turns into bats a second time. Technically two cycles there. I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. I need you to help me destroy Dracula. My father, I have daddy issues. Yeah, I'll take him with. I'm glad to hear that. Let's get him. I am Alucard. Of course he's going to say he's Alucard. Nobody wants to know that his real name's Adrian! Making good time, actually. That's not bad. All right, switching to Alucard. Alucard has the ability to turn into a bat, which is great. All right, one, two... Okay. Um, there was a damage boost I could have taken off of those slimes. I didn't take it because they were in the wrong position, but, you know, at least they didn't, you know, boost me in the wrong direction. All right, gonna do a fun little trick here. Yep, there we go. Uh, used the damage boost to uh, get up there. Oh, I got stuck on the ceiling. This is the first time you really get to see Alucard as a bat. Uh, conserve my hearts. All right, there are two paths here. The faster one is the upper path. The lower path leads to a completely different level, which is long and annoying. But that level also skips the level that comes after this one. So in the end, it kind of washes out, but kind of doesn't, because there's not as fast as strats to get through there. All right, bat time. All right. Uh, when you're in bat mode, you can kind of touch the spikes and not die. You just got to be careful about it. All right. Switch back. And this guy is fun. I like to call him leg day because of what he's doing right now. He was trying to climb the stairs. He has no muscles. He's just trying to get his leg day in. He's trying to get his leg day in, but he doesn't have any muscles, so he can't climb the stairs and gets mad and just turns around and tries to stab me. But he didn't stab me. He did. He, it's all good. And that's that level. Next level is Frankenstein stage, and we get to... Uh, do our first little uh, clip. There will be three near back-to-back -back clips. We're going to have two clips, and then Frankenstein's battle, and then a clip at the beginning of level seven, which is the hardest trick in the game, period. I would like to also mention that this game has a very banger soundtrack, but it is slightly more banger on the Famicom version because they have the extra sound channels. Got stuck on the frippin' ceiling. Take the slam boost, and then we will 
fly o for some stupid bandage throwing mummies. Wait a feet for frames to see if the skelly's nice. All right, let's see if we can thread the needle. Oh yeah, time to thread the needle, people. All right, and I threaded the needle. That is a near pixel perfect gap, by the way. All right, uh, low ax, and we got the first clip. Don't, don't clap too hard yet. I got one more coming. I got one more coming. And back to back. All right, this is Frankenstein. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the thing with Frankenstein as to why he's slightly uh, better to do with Alucard is because of the fact that Alucard, like Trevor, has a uh, weapon upgrade. His allows him to get a triple shot, spread shot fireballs. He does about as much damage as Trevor if he gets those fireballs in the right spot. And because you can immediately shoot again as soon as they disappear, or if you crouch at the right time, you can kind of like machine gun fireballs in. And if you get some frame perfect movement, you, you can kill bosses real fast. All right, time to do some fun stuff. All right, next screen's gonna be a very hard trick. So if I get it, applaud. If I don't, applaud anyway, because I tried. Because this is, this is entirely based upon the RNG of a flea band. And I can't trust them to beat my life. All right, behave. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. You see what I was trying to do there. Um, the flea man boosted me into the block, which would have pushed me to the other side of it. However, because of the position of the flea man, it wasn't able to push me far enough in to get me on the other side when I turned into a bat. It's a very finicky jump. Um, it is literally the hardest trick in the game. Um, I don't know why you didn't debat right away, but okay, I can get a couple extra hearts, it's fine. The point was I didn't want to take damage and accidentally fall back in the hole. All right, we're gonna do a little skip here. Boom! Acid jump. Boom! 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 This guy's a pain in the butt, but he's gone now. All right. Um, we're coming up on a very annoying screen for me. Uh, this is a level that has a mini boss. Um, there are two levels that have mini bosses. One is if you go the cipher route. Um, whether you pick her up or not, you can get um, onto a ghost ship, which has a Medusa fight in the middle of the ship, which is quite annoying. Oh. You. You. That skeleton soldier was being a little bit of a pain. It's fine, though. All right. Ugh. Yeah! Okay. Got the extra hearts. Now to save a couple seconds off of the time that I wasted. All right, behave bat, behave bat, behave bat. Bat did not behave, okay. So it's basically the same bat as before, but because of the spread shot and my timing, I can sometimes have problems, but I still did it damageless, so that's good. Uh, this is a stage that if you go without Alucard is really annoying. However, because I have Alucard, I can do this. Just fly. He's a bat. He just... Platforming means nothing to Alucard. He's just like, no, I fly. What do you think? I fly. I'm a bat. Just do things. All right. Ravens behave. And they behave. Um, the trick with the ravens is they die as soon as they hit you. With uh, Alucard, as you're turning into or becoming away from a bat, you have about two or three frames of invincibility where the bats or the ravens can hit your hitbox and then uh, you don't take damage, but they still die, which is great. Also, that's a lot more butt clenching than um, you th it looked because the Medusa heads are evil. Uh-oh. You switched the screens on them. <laughs> That's fine, I paused, it's fine. It's minor time loss, all right. 
I missed. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that then. There was a little thing that I could have done there, but I missed the jump and didn't hit the pixel. It's fine. Um, all right. I switched to Trevor. Most people will stay as Alucard for most of this, but as long as I can get 14 hearts, which is not hard, um, I am fine. Um, there's a quick kill to the boss. Oh, thank you. But, you know, I don't care. I have more than enough health to deal with that because I got the, I got the wall meat uh, when I was grabbing the health. Marathon safe strats there, people. Marathon safe. Because we do not want to have to do this with the backup strat. I'm rusty. I don't know if I can do it very well with the regular strat right now. I don't want to even try the backup strat. Backup strat is already slow enough. And we had an accidental despawn. Um, it's an NES game. You know, that happens. All right. This is the same fight you would have on either path at level 7. It's three fights. Two mummies, a golem, cyclops, and then you have a leviathan. Or the devil or whatever. So I will call the cyclops a big, ugly MFR. Please chase me. There we go. We get the quick kill. Um, um, if I don't suck, I, I sucked. So now I have to do cleanup. No. Fine. Fine. We will do it this the slightly slower way, Cyclops. Apparently, I called you a bad name and you were angry. All right, Leviathan. One, two, three. Whip, whip. One, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four. Almost got the one, uh, two cycle, but that's fine. We're not looking for the two cycle. We're just looking to not die. And if you're wondering why I have a double in the holy water after this many stages, there's a trick at the beginning of Dracula stage where if I have two whole, a double of holy water, I can get a triple axe on the first screen without having to farm for the triple. So yay! We'll see how that works. Meanwhile, death stage. Alucard. Alright, so Alucard is really good at this. We're going to have like um, two really easy clips on this level. Um, clips are us. We'll take a slightly safer strat so we don't stab me in the face there. Dun dun ba dum ba da down. Vampire killer, come on, ba down. Ba da down, na 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 na. Ba da down, na na na. All right, I got the clip, but I didn't get it perfect, so I have to kill this slime, or he was gonna hit me. All right, low axe, please. Nope. All right. Low axe. All right. We're waiting for this guy now. Dude. Dude. Do the do the thing, please. I need to show this clip, man. Do the thing, man. Come on. Take a knee, man. Take a knee. Take a knee. There we go. All right. So Alucard's got a weird hitbox, and that's why I waited for that instead of going around. Um, his weird hitbox allows you to um, have your hitbox kind of sort of hit that axe and then clip you through even though you're technically on the wrong side of the block to make it work. I can't remember if it was JC or KMAC that figured that one out, but it, it's a cool thing. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four, one, two, just. Are you flipping serious, Dad? Really, man? Really, buddy? All right. All right, I'm going to try to do the crouch cancel thing. Didn't work. And death is dead. Death is a two-phase boss, whereas Dracula is a three-phase boss. World record for this category, by the way, is held by Level Engine at 25 minutes 
and 48 seconds. I am currently in eighth place. My PB is 27.21, and I need to focus right now. And that was RNG. Um, I had two fireballs instead of three and only killed one of the two flea men there. Um, if I had killed both of them, I would have been uh, able to shave off uh, 10 seconds off the level. That's a JC strat. JC is someone who had, uh, previously held all three any percent records in Castlevania games in Castlevania 1, 2, and 3. Um, the other two holders were KMAC and the current holder of all three any percent records, SBD Wolf. And I'm glad that I am friends with the last two of those, um, or JC and SBD Wolf. They're pretty cool people. And that really sucked. That sucked worse. Okay. Well, guess we get to be safe. And we're not. All right. Well, first death of the run. It's fine. The only thing that really sucks is now we're going to have to farm for uh, power-ups. But because it did it that way, I'm going to do um, some safer strats. Yeah, some, th this level is very mean. Um, it can do that to you sometimes where it looks like you're going to get everything perfect, and then all of a sudden you just, you die. Like that. <laughs> I was a pixel off. I died. Um, that, this is one reason why not many people have been uh, running this game. Because it is, it, that was supposed to go up faster. It's a very cruel mistress. <laughs> Oh, come on! That is... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna wait for the other spike then. If I can get there... If I can get there, as I was saying before I almost died again, um, there is an extra life on the auto-scroll screen of this level, so... I'm not in danger of game overing right now. But I am in danger of wasting more time, that's all. <laughs> Don't mess up. All right, I'm good. We're gonna damage, boost. Um, there's a trick if I didn't die that I could have done using the uh, stopwatch. It doesn't really save a lot of time. It just gives you a better pattern with some enemies. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world that I missed it. But it definitely sucks. And yes, there's also wall meat I can get. But I get to switch characters again before I'm supposed to because I died a few times and I need to get two weapon upgrades and a holy water and a double on this screen as a backup strat. Of course, I know how to do this. It just depends on RNG whether or not I get it at the right time. Okay, so that extra life is in that wall. If I don't... Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, don't have to worry, don't have to worry. No extra spawns. And that's our. That's all the stuff we needed. Got the double, got the holy water, got the two weapon upgrades, we're fine. Four and up and over and remember Alucard's hitbox? Yeah, it's weird. Apparently it will get hit by an axe that touches his head through a brick, but he doesn't get killed by that particular fuzzy ball. Because the hitbox for Trevor somehow does not hit that fuzzy ball either. Um, for safety's sake, I'm going to get a wall meat here, by the way. Um, anyone who casually plays it might need that we wall meat way more than me. Uh, jump scare bat. Um, yeah, jump scare, jump scare bat is a jump scare bat. He likes to do that. He just pops out of nowhere. All right, remember the ravens? Remember the little thing? Yeah. Um, I was able to kill the one 
with the fireball and the other one with uh, eye frames. So that's always nice. Also, um, I gotta waste some hearts. I mean, I don't have to, but it helps. <laughs> it helps with my confidence in executing this quick kill. All right, one, two, three, bam. All right, behave, Doppel. One, two, one, two, one, two. Quick kill a Doppelganger. That is a lot harder than it looks. Now, remember that trick that I was talking about uh, a couple stages ago? I'm about to do it, maybe. Kind of depends on if I jump at the right time or not. This is the final stage, by the way. Um, the only obstacles in my way right now are Dracula and a boatload of his minions. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was able to get the axe and the triple. Okay, whew. That was close. All right. Now it's just baiting an auto-scroller and despawning some Medusa heads and not dying by being crushed to the ceiling. Um, the more Medusa heads that spawn, the more lag you get. Um, because of all the stuff going on in the background, this game really, and I mean really, pushed the NES to its limits. Okay, wall meat's definitely necessary. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this game pushed the NES to its limits, and this stage really pushed the NES to its limits with that slowdown. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need some heart farming too, maybe. Oh, almost died, but I saved it. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Well, really need the wall meat now. You know what? Can I get it? There we go. Extra one up. Okay. That's a checkpoint. There we go. We're all good. There is technically one final clip that I could do, but I do not do it well enough to want to risk it. Um... So instead, I'm going to switch over to Trevor in about 10 seconds. And switch. I'm going to waste a heart here, because I'm going to have to farm anyway. Okay, two hearts, I guess. Waste two hearts to murder that skeleton without taking damage, so I have one extra hit um, in case I need it on Dracula. Um, usually, I'd be going into Dracula on PB pace. It would be with um, one less hit that I could take. And... I am forced to take one on uh, phase one of the fight. But phase two can be a little tricky, and phase three even more so. All right, so we're going to go down the stairs, grab uh, the five heart down here, and go back up. Because we don't want to die on Dracula because of too few hearts or too little health. Because unlike Castlevania 1, you do not respawn spawn after death at this part of the thing. You spawn back at that lovely door. All right. I just whipped him in the knees and he took damage. Ah, oh, crap. I got boosted back in the wrong way. All right. One, two, three. All right. I'm just going to have to be careful here. This is going to be a little slow on phase two, but... One, two, three. Okay, I can't use any more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope! I almost got a one cycle, but I was a couple frames too slow. That's fine. He's dead, man. And Dracula's dead. Time is when I get the uh, orb here at the end. Orb! Orb. That is 3121. That's not bad. That is not bad pace for a marathon. All right. So you got Trevor and Alucard standing on the cliffs watching Dracula's castle fall into nothingness. Trevor made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead. 
and all other spirits are asleep. The battle was won by Trevor and Alucard, but Alucard feels guilty because he killed his real father. Apparently he has another one somewhere. Trevor realizes this as he stands there, thinking about Alucard. After this fight, the Belmont's name shall be honored by all people. And that is Castlevania 3, Alucard percent, um, 3121. And just to plug it, uh, I will be back in a couple of hours doing Goose Game 100%, and the incentive for that is to drown Timmy after getting all of the things, because Timmy... Timmy is the anti-Goose, apparently. And he's just too fun to pick on. Was there any donations we needed to read off? We do not. Get your donations in now. All right. First was Sypha, and then we got Grant the Nasty. Don't call him Nasty, who we did not pick up either because he climbs on walls. And then we have Aaron, A Adrian Fahrenheit Tepish, or Alucard. I would like to take this time to plug CarbonFund.org Foundation, if I may. Go right ahead. Yeah. So, uh, at this marathon, we are raising money for CarbonFund.org. And CarbonFund.org's mission is to make the world carbon neutral and is a leader in the fight against climate change. CarbonFund.org works with individuals, organizations, and businesses to make going carbon neutral simple and effective. CarbonFund.org is a supporter of numerous green projects such as renewable energy and tree planting. To date, CarbonFund.org has supported over 180 projects and has planted over 1 million trees along the way. A couple of stats for you. CarbonFund.org has offset 25 billion pounds of CO2. That's a lot of weight. That's, that's, a lot, that's a lot of CO2. Um, the average American's carbon footprint is 50,000 pounds per year. A donation of $240 to CarbonFund.org will offset that completely, which is fantastic. So, Ev so far you're saying that we've offset five people's footprint this run? This yeah, marathon? Five people's yearly footprints so far. And that number will be increasing um, with your donations. We do have some goals in bid wars coming up. Um, throughout the whole marathon, of course, we've got the Kirby bid war. So that's just $1. If you donate $1, you can put that towards tormenting the runner, throwing um, the Kirby plush at them at any time. We've got, coming up, Super Metroid Save or Kill the Animals. Kill is currently leading at $107 to save at $30. Ooh. That's what we like to see. Everybody, everybody wants to kill the animals and save the frames. Save the frames. Um, <laughs> kill the animals. Um, we've also got Super Fancy Pants Adventure Pants Color. Red is currently in the lead at $2, and trailing behind at none are blue, green, and orange. Um, we've got the Celeste file name. That's coming up after Fancy Pants. Uh, we've got $5 towards Fwa Ha 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 um, with no other donation. So if you want to donate um, to give it a different name, do that. Honk. Coming up after Honk. that, we've got Untitled Goose Game run by Honk. Diston. Honk, honks and chat. <laughs> um, the big bid war for that game is the fate of Timmy. So we will either save Timmy or drown Timmy. Take your pick. Um, also coming up with Celeste, uh, we have a donation goal to play with the Battleline variant. So if that's something you want to see, get your donations in towards that. We are currently sitting at zero out of $55. So just $55 over the next couple of runs can unlock uh, playing as Battleline for that run. That is definitely a cool way to play the game. It definitely is. <laughs> um, 
later tonight, we have a couple donation goals and bid wars for Backyard Wrestling too. The first bid war is the wrestler name bid war, and that is currently open. So just a $1 donation can put you in the lead for a file name for that game. All right, and I think we are ready to transition over All to right. intermission. <laughs> 